Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Keep in mind also that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 27th of November, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and when the message resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time, at that moment. Yes? Um, so I, uh, uh, let's, I want to say before we, before we really begin, I do want to say that I may, I may or may not do morning coffee tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to be at my parents' house. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to do it. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like I'll, I'll bring things with me to prepare to be able to do it. I'm just not actually sure if I'm going to or not. Um, so just keep that in mind, just a, just a quick heads up there and then for no real reason other than the fact that, you know, I'll just, I might be caught up with family or like with the day helping my mom or my dad do whatever we are, you know, to prepare for the day's festivities. So I just, I just don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Okay. So let's get into today's energies. To be honest, today's energies feel really heavy. Now, as many of you know, as those of us in the United States know or are well aware of, tomorrow, uh, the 28th of November, is Thanksgiving for us here in the United States. And that is the kickoff of, well, technically it's the official kickoff of the holiday season, right? Even though, even though it tends to start before, like right after Halloween now in many cases. But anyway... Um, it's also a, a time of stress, um, and maybe even content, uh, a contention having to do with family. Um, and it's interesting because there's been a lot of channeling going on. Um, many of us channelers and readers and whatnot, we've been channeling a lot of family drama, family issue. I know Aluna Ash, who I listen to regularly. Um, and if you're new to my channel, or if you're not familiar with her, I, I tend to resonate with a lot of her messages. Um, uh, but I mean, even she was channeling that there's been a lot of, you know, things strife with family, healing family issues, dealing with family situations, whatnot, whatever. And I mean, I've been feeling that energy. Um, and, but today, today it feels pretty, like pretty heavy, um, heavier than it has been. And at first I was just like, well, whatever, that's just me dealing with my own, I guess you could say my own drama or whatever residual I'm still processing, whatnot, whatever. But then I was sitting here, you know, starting to channel, you know, getting connected with the collective. And I just, and I heard very clearly, the energy is really heavy today. Um, so for those of you that are, you know, that do find this time period to be very difficult um, emotionally, emotionally especially, but like mentally, um, my, my prayers go out to you. You know, you're definitely not alone. Um, I mean, we're all here. We're all in this together. Um, but also, one thing that I'm picking up on is people that are traveling. We have some major blizzards that are like, or snowstorms or winter weather or whatnot that's like bombarding the west coast, the, cen uh, the central United States, the north central, the northeast. Um, and for those of you that are that are traveling today or traveling in this weather, who've been traveling throughout this week potentially my prayers go out to you i hope that your you know your your travel runs smoothly you get to your destination safely you don't deal with too many delays whatnot whatever um so then oh i forgot to mention um i did get all of the zodiac readings done so those are going to be out on time they actually may even be out early i may just like cuz i might just spend my spare time now editing them and then uploading them. So, um, yeah, they'll most likely be out early. 
I was planning on having them out by the 1st of December, which is this coming Sunday, but early. Yeah, cool. Okay, so anyway, um, and then also, so interesting thing, um, Spirit likes to communicate with me <clears throat> through music a lot of the time, and I know many of you experience that a lot as well. <laughs> um, and I woke up with a song in my head this morning that I don't remember listening to any time recently. It's a Cardi B song. Um, and I don't even know, I don't even know the name of it, but the lyrics, you don't hit my line no more. I want you to make it ring, 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 ring. It might even be called ring. I don't know, but it's a great song. I mean, I love it. it that hook is just, is, is so fantastic. But I woke up in, I woke up this morning and I was like, and I heard that playing in my head and and I had had some pretty vivid and interesting dreams. Oh my God, you know what? I should talk about that. I had some really interesting dreams last night, but we'll get into that in a second. I want to finish this first. Um, but I woke up with that song in my head and I'm like, why the hell is that? I haven't listened to that song in the longest time. I can't even remember the last time I've listened to a Cardi B song. Now, I don't listen. I do not listen to the radio. I rarely listen to my Spotify account anymore. Like I haven't really even been listening to music lately just because I've been so disconnected from the mainstream everything. Ironically enough, I have been watching some of the news lately. But anyway, I was like, where is this song coming from? And Spirit keeps saying, the Divine Masculine is singing that song, is sending that message. And we'll go ahead and say it's a collective message, because it really is kind of a collective message. Like, I am hearing that coming from the collective. Um, which is interesting, because I don't really have a pre-shuffle today but what i but i ended i was just sitting here shuffling trying to get a pre-shuffle and i was like okay well nothing's really coming out and i don't really want to force it and i just kind of want to start the re the video so i i stopped shuffling i put the deck down and look at what it landed on the emperor with the tower and it's the side of the tower where the mask is coming off the mask has been destroyed the chariot that was driving this individual or whatever the situation the circumstance whatever has been destroyed you see that the tower that has been built is hollow and the two sphinxes that were once in alignment that were driving the chariot because this rubble down here this is um, the rubble from the chariot, and these two sphinxes, these were the sphinxes that were carrying the chariot, destroyed, and the sphinxes are now released from their, their, um, their reins, and they're free to go in either direction, whichever direction they choose, independently. So something's happening. <laughs> something's happening. Um, the, so the, ma the ma masculine out there, Excuse me. You guys might be dealing, facing some hard family issues, um, and this could be an identity crisis. You could be facing it. What now? I'm not saying that this is going to happen during Thanksgiving, or maybe even like Christmas or Hanukkah or or, or Kwanzaa or anything or any of the or the um, anything that you celebrate um, throughout this this period. Uh, but what I am feeling is that at some level, in some way, you're facing a mask that you have been wearing or the reality surrounding the mask that you've been wearing. This could also be for feminines out there that are, you know, really in tune with their masculine energy. You might be dealing with this too. But also what I'm getting is that you might be feeling the energetic effects of the masculine collective in handling or facing these things. For some of you, this could mean that there might be a little bit of confrontation. There might be a situation in which you take your mask off. You reveal some true elements of your life or of, your, of yourself to your family, to your friends, to your colleagues, to the people that are you know closest to you. Um, but for the most part, I'm getting just, it's like an energetic disturbance. It's like there's an awareness that's coming through here that's kind of changing, uh, changing someone's life, changing a number of people's lives interesting now to that point i do want to talk about i want to mention this one part of my dream that i remember very clearly i was 
in this, I was in like an outdoor area, but there was this storm rolling through and it was, it was like an energetic, weird energetic storm. Um, something that I had never really seen before. There was a very clear distinction between where the storm started. Um, and it's like there was these, there were these thick, tan, brownish clouds rolling in. It almost looked like a, a dust storm was rolling through. But if I looked up into the sky, there were these like clear masses of what looked like clouds. Um, and I, and, 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 it feels what I what her spirit said as I started describing this to you was it was a magnetic storm. So like there's this energetic shift that's coming in, and me being <laughs> me being the rebel that I am, I'm the crazy rebel that I am. I'm running around dancing around in this storm, jumping back and forth between where you know where like that that line is and where the storm begins. And just like having was having a grand old time with it, but then the storm kind of like took over the area that I was in, and I started hearing someone calling to me. Um, and I found her, and now that I mention, now that I look back on it, it looks I I believe it was a friend of mine, this friend of mine that I reconnected with during Mercury in retrograde. Yes, Krista, I think it was you, but um. <laughs> It was the weirdest thing ever, but we were we had found each other, and then everything was better. But I really feel like that storm that I had that I felt or I saw in my dream is indicative of a wave of change, um, cycles a catal a cycle of catalyst catalytic energy is rolling through. Um, there are some people I'm hearing that are going to be having some sort of identity crisis, and again, it doesn't mean that you're you're expressing it that doesn't mean that you're you're you know opening up about it it doesn't mean that you're actively taking any actions to assert yourself or incite some sort of change or, or whatnot whatever that's that's not necessarily the case but there is an energy that's rolling through that is bringing this awareness for you and it could shake some shit up Again, spirit saying it's a catalyst. Okay, so um, and I just heard great change is coming, and this is right in line with the twenty with the fact that we're moving into twenty twenty, which is going to be a big year, a start of basically a start of this whole. And I don't even want to say it this way because, yeah, I mean, I was I what I was gonna say it was like a start of this whole new um, fifth dimensional reality type thing, but. I was watching a video by Victor Otto last night about, um, you know, about this new moon, which actually happened yesterday. There was a new moon yesterday, but um, the new moon, was it in Taurus? I don't remember. No, no, I'm sorry. It was in Sagittarius. But um, Victor was, Otto was talking about how, you know, 2020 is going to be the start of this whole new fifth dimensional reality thing, but actually it's not really because he was saying it because it's it's been here <laughs> it's been here this whole time it's just a matter of the energy shifting for us to embody it more and this fifth dimensional shift this 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 change or rise into fifth dimensional reality is not really anything like catastrophic like catast your 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 body is not going to just evaporate you're not just going to cease to exist everything around you is not going to magically look different fifth dimensional reality living in fifth dimensional reality is living an energetic uh, living in an energetic awareness. Um, it's all about vibration. It's all about alignment. It's not about that hustle energy that the three dimension has influenced within us. It's all about, you know, vibration. It's about aligning with what it is that you want and allowing and working with the universe in that sense. I mean, it doesn't mean you don't have to take action, but it's the way you approach it is very, very different. Okay, it's a state of mind, it's a state of consciousness. Um, so yeah, that's all, that's all really interesting. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say. But, so let's, uh, 
Well, let's move forward and see what else we have for today. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so the color for, for the collective today is pink. Unconditional love. And I heard unconditional love is coming through, which, to be honest, could be allowing someone to see themselves differently, maybe even to see a situation clearer, to see it better in a better way. I don't know what that could be. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. All right, last shuffle. Okay, let's see what we've got for today, kids. Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. Best messages for like, the collective. What are we discussing with the collective today? Wednesday, November 27th. One more, sh one more. Let's get one more here. Now I'm seeing green is just taking us into our heart chakra. So, all right. So for those of us that are really struggling with these energies right now, um, interesting. Those of us that are really struggling with these energies right now, the divine is and the universe is, is, is showering us with unconditional love to help keep us lifted. Yes. Overall energy. We have the fool. Oh, man, we have the fool <laughs> with the emperor again. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Are you, so you see I'm not making this up, right? <laughs> okay. Just so we're clear. And then on the table, we have, oh, man, we have the hanged man, the empress, and the six of pentacles. So we have the emperor and the empress here, guys. So there is a change in perspective that has been gained here. And I do believe that that is, that is a change of perspective on behalf of the masculine. That is... That involves the feminine. It's like he's changed. It. What I'm feeling here is the masculine may have changed the way he views... The feminine, he may, he or she may have changed the way he views the relay, his, his or her relationship with the feminine, the feminine collective, feminine energy as a whole, also a certain counterpart, potentially. But I do feel like this is, maybe it's just, maybe I'm saying it this way because maybe it just feels safer to say it this way, egoically, but, um, it could be just be that the masculine has changed his view on the divine feminine collective as a whole, which ultimately will align him or her. Again, we're not talking gender, we're talking energy here. So we'll, I'll just stay with, well, whatever. Um, align him or her with a divine counterpart. But that also could be changing his or her view of a certain individual that may have been a catalyst for him or her. Um, whether or not you two are actually going to come together or not, but that's still yet to be seen. Like, I'm really not trying to predict any of that. I'm just talking about how the energies are flowing for the collective right now, okay? I'm really not into predicting that so-and-so is going to come back to you. Like, please, can we, like, not... <laughs> can we stop with that now, please, and just let the energy flow? Because that would be really... That would be ideal. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um... And so what I'm seeing here with the hanged man in reverse, especially this side of the hanged man, because it's the side of the hanged man that has the two individuals that were that appear before the hierophant, the two in in that hierophant card, which is the fifth card of the major arcana. So that comes before the hanged man, which is 12, number 12, okay? 
at this point in the journey, these two, these two individuals that had been in, that have been indoctrinated by the Hierophant are now standing before the hanged man in an, in an energy of realizing that there are other ways of viewing things. There are other ways of approaching life. There are other ways of expressing yourself. There are other ways, there are other teachings even. There are other um, books of knowledge, if you want. Like, take it as you will, right? Here it's reversed. So I, well, I, okay, first of all, I heard indoctrination is complete. Okay, indoctrination has been completed. But yet, what I'm also feeling here is that a change in perspective has been achieved. Now, this in reverse, it could mean that there's resistance to this, but that's not what I'm feeling. The biggest thing that I'm feeling in the flow of this energy right now is that someone has, whether they want to consciously admit it or not, that's not important. What is important is that someone has sufficiently achieved a strong change in perspective, which could be leading to some sort of catalyst or, or, or tower moment. Okay, which is what we, I picked up on, which came out earlier. There, there is a desire to have a balanced and reciprocal relationship with the feminine collective. That's kind of, that's what I'm seeing here. There is a desire to start over. There is a desire to take a leap of faith. There could be a leap of faith coming in the near future, maybe in within like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm getting a feeling of maybe within the next six months, but I could be feeling that because you do have the six of pentacles here, okay? Now, this individual is standing here over a town. I mean, I guess you could look at it as like a, a miniature, a town model, okay? Or you could just look at it as someone is astrally standing over this town although oh no it is a it is a model it is a model because <laughs> if you look at this side you can kind of see a table that this this is resting on maybe a little bit okay it really doesn't matter someone is overlooking a town and it feels like they're in at least in this situation it feels like they're saying okay how do i make this balanced how do i give back to my community how do i make things right how do i set things straight how do i how do i put things back into into balanced order <clears throat> it's like someone's contemplating how to reciprocate, how to be reciprocal. And I do get that the Divine Feminine Collective is a strong influence here on this. Okay, so that's a beautiful thing. And it does feel challenging. It is pretty challenging, but it's, it's not something that you can't overcome or accomplish. I mean, think about it. Think about it. You're the emperor. You're the divine masculine. I mean, the divine masculine and the divine feminine can do absolutely anything individually. Think about what they can do together. And what I really love about this right now is that we have both of them facing forward. Like, we're not seeing anybody's back here. I really like that. It's really comforting. It feels really good. <clears throat> okay. So I want to let's um let's get into some clarifying here. And to be quite honest with you guys, I'm really feeling like I want to split this up and look at each card individually and see what messages ha we have see what clarification we can get. So we're going to start with the hanged man. Okay. And I'm using the Dreaming Way Tarot today, at least at this point, at this moment, for our clarification. One more shuffle here. So what does this Hanged Man energy in reverse represent? Let's see. Let's get a little more, a deeper understanding of this for us here. The Hanged Man in reverse, please. What is this? Well, it's the Ten of Swords in reverse. 
Well, that is quite beautiful. With, oh my god, you guys. <laughs> the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck. I mean, come on. So, yes. The Masculine has, in fact, reached a pivotal point in his journey, is what I just heard. His or her journey. <clears throat> this is a turning point, you guys. Please do not expect any sort of action or confessions anytime soon. Allow the masculine to do this on their own time. But understand here that the energies are of a change in perspective and the ending of some really difficult times for the masculine collective. I do, I really do feel like that storm that I saw in my dream is a wave having to do with this shift in perspective. I'm not saying that it has everything, that it's all about the divine masculine, divine collective, I, uh, the divine feminine, divine masculine. I do feel like that is part of it, but it's much bigger. It's just a wave of, oof. Okay, I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna say what I just heard. It's a wave of striking down conformity. But it's not like it's coming in and tearing things down it's, it, itself. It's coming in and shifting people's perspectives, shifting people's energetic states that is allowing them to shift out of that for themselves, giving them the opportunity to do so. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. So... So, okay, we're going to do these together. The Empress and the Six of Pentacles. Let's look a little deeper into this here. The Empress and the Six of Pentacles. The Empress and the Six of Pentacles, please. Let's get a little bit more... <laughs> uh, oh my god <laughs> oh my god the emperor is still at the bottom of the deck guys how did what okay all right this is crazy but we have okay we have the four of cups the queen of pentacles the knight of cups the eight of pentacles and the two of cups so, 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 let's talk about this, guys. The masculine, and the emperor, and you guys, you see, I, I just, I just want to, I just want to make sure you guys see how I am not making this up, right? Okay. Just so we're clear. Okay. <laughs> All right. The masculine desires to make an offer to the feminine. But she's not necessarily having it, or at least she hasn't been having it. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I mean, this narrative has been going on for some time. The feminine finally reached a state of knowing what her worth is and asserting herself there, not allowing her to self, or not allowing herself to to accept anything less than what she deserves what is rightfully hers, what she is worthy of. She's not taking crumbs from no one. And here's the thing about it that is making this so challenging for the divine masculine. It's not just the divine masculine or his or her counterpart in the masculine that she's doing this with or that she's, she's keeping these boundaries with. It's everybody, you guys. No one is exempt from this. Literally no one. Not friends, not family, not not your counter nobody nobody is exempt from this rejection basically if you're not willing to honor my value and my worth of which i am well aware of then i want nothing from you says the queen of pentacles at this point or at least says the empress or the divine feminine at this point right okay well the masculine is really quite aware of that 
and has been wanting for some time to come forward and make some sort of romantic offer. Now, I f already feel some of you are like, ew, he's not even coming in as the king. He's coming in as a freaking knight. I don't want that. Listen, the knight is a messenger. Like, look at it that way. And to be quite honest, it also kind of feels like the masculine would be coming, would, would be showing up as wanting to come forward as the knight because he has matured or there is so there is some a bit a good bit of emotional maturity here but there's also space for you two to grow it would be better if you if he were to come to come he or she were to come forward as this knight of cups and then the two of you can grow into the king and queen of cups together right i don't know maybe i'm just maybe that's a reach maybe that's a stretch maybe i'm just trying to i'm trying to sugarcoat this too much for you guys but honestly i don't see it as a bad thing that the knight it's showing up as a knight and that was i was i was picking up on somebody who was getting all huffy about that and it's like dude chill i mean he's trying to come forward isn't he this knight of cups keeps coming out has been coming out consistently actually it didn't really come out this much this week but it has been coming out quite a bit collectively overall for some time so like chill he's trying she's trying like <laughs> you know what i mean <clears throat> cut some slack here but eight of pentacles with the knight of cups so and and like like i was saying it felt like with this six of pentacles and the empress it felt like the masculine was trying to figure out how to approach the situation to make it balanced and reciprocal. And so here you have the Eight of Pentacles in which the masculine is working on that. Now this could mean specifically that the masculine has been working on his career and finances because he feels still, there's still a strong, a very, very strong energy of the masculine requiring him or herself to have a certain to be in a certain financial state, to be at a certain level in his or her career. And that's not a bad thing. It's a topic of contention for the feminine because the feminine is not so materially or physically oriented. The feminine, to be quite honest, the feminine really couldn't give two shits about how much money the masculine has. Because she's well aware that regardless of how much you may have at this moment, we're going to be able to, to generate more together. So, like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? But the masculines are like, no, no, that's not acceptable. I'm hearing that's not acceptable for my queen. Okay. So that is part of the masculine's journey. Now, there are other elements to the situation that, like, say, the masculine couldn't give two shits about, but the feminine is all, all up in arms about. Right? So it's not like anyone is better than the other here. We all have our things, our issues, our cruxes, our, our crosses to bear, yes? And then, here you have the two of cups and it's funny because when sometimes now lately when i've been like shuffling when i do that free pull there have been moments where i've i've been i felt guided to after i do that free pull even if things have fallen out to take the first normally it's the first three cards off the top of the deck this time i finished the shuffling and i heard take and i felt take that card on the top of the deck i was like really they were like yeah take it i took it two of cups masculine and feminine coming together but in the three-dimensional realm we and what i'm feeling here you guys is we are entering into an energetic time that is going to help facilitate this way more than it ever has been in the past like it's going to there it, it, it moving shifting into 2020 is going to help us or is going to be what, how do i say this what's the phrase i'm looking for is going to help facilitate these higher vibrational, unconditionally loving energies and circumstances and relationships and whatnot, whatever. Okay? Now, please, I do want to say that this doesn't mean that it's really going to happen all that quickly. So if you're sitting here listening to me and other people talk about this, don't expect it to just happen tomorrow or like the day, like January 1st. You know what I mean? Like, 
It's still going to take some time. There is still a process ahead of us. But this is how things are shaping up energetically, okay? And back to the song that I woke up with that I referenced earlier, it makes perfect sense that the masculine would be sending that message. You don't hit my line no more. You don't call me anymore. You don't talk to me anymore. Oof, God, just saying that is like starting to get me choked up. But the feminine really has cut communication, both physically and for the most part, and also energetically. Now, that I know I am aware that there are a lot of you that have come into union in some way that are in full-blown union or um, are in some sort of communication with your masculine counterpart or a masculine counterpart, someone that you have aligned with. But for the most part, the feminine has cut communication, has cut ties, has done everything that she could to cut as much of an uh, as to, to 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 cut away as much of the energetic connection between the two between herself and the masculine as she could a lot of this has to do with anger resentment heartbreak pain fear but also a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's it's not the feminine's responsibility to pull the masculine out of his own ditch. Just like it wasn't the masculine's, or it still isn't the masculine's responsibility to pull the feminine out of her ditch. Now, once the feminine recognized this and, was, and, and, and decided to cut ties, she might have done it in a little bit of a malicious way because she was very angry and very hurt, but it happened. It was necessary, so it had to happen anyway. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but that song coming through is like the masculine saying, hey, you don't talk to me anymore, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm, I literally am, I have to stop talking about that because I am going to start crying. But... <sighs> yeah. That actually was, a, I was about to start crying there. Okay, let's move forward uh, and let's get the closing messages. Let's close out this reading. Um, I'm going to start with Spirit's take and any advice Spirit may have. And I heard what I wanted to say was advice for the masculine, but I kind of just want to get advice for both. But I do feel like this is mostly going to be advice for the masculine at this point. And you know what's so crazy? I did a reading for someone that's been following for a while. Um, and she mentioned, she pointed out that morning coffee lately has been very much geared towards the masculine, which I love. I really love that. And I do try to make it a point to speak directly to the masculine, even though most of of the viewers here on my channel and most of these channels are highly feminine oriented whether you're a man or a woman it doesn't matter energetically speaking it's the feminine that normally watches these is is in touch with this in tune with this but there are some masculines out there that do watch and so i intentionally speak directly to you masculine because i hope you are here watching and i don't want you i don't want you to feel like these messages were channeling these or at least i'm channeling these messages for you but i'm not really speaking to you you know what i mean i really like that that's that this has shifted and it makes perfect sense it falls right in line with the dynamics of the collective because the feminine has really stepped into her power has really gotten in touch with herself and is really not looking for much of this confirmation anymore would much rather not talk about it to be honest so I really love that these messages are, have shifted like this. It's really cool. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Spirit is saying six shuffles. So bear with me, guys. Six shuffles here. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. All right, spirit. 
What is your take on this? What advice do you have for us here? That was the Hierophant. Oh, look at that. That's enough. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands. Um, top three cards, I was feeling like I wanted to pull them, so I did. You have the Five of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. And then you also have this Ace of Cups with the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. So, there is a desire to make some sort of emotional offer. There is de a desire to reconcile maybe to apologize, and that could be on both sides. Uh, but there's still, there's still conflict. There's still internal conflict. I, I do feel like this is internal and external conflict. Internally, it is feelings of inadequacy, like you're not enough, like you're not going to be enough. I, I do feel like that's still coming from the masculine. Um, but also there is an, there is an awareness I'm picking up here, there is definitely an awareness of how someone has made someone else feel in the past. And it's creating even more internal conflict and drama and, and anxiety and fear because it's like with how the narrative is, is feels like, with how I made so-and-so feel in the past about in, in, in terms of like inadequacy, right not being enough not ever going to be enough or just being to this being to that whatnot whatever how would this person how would i ever get this person to allow me back into their life there's an awareness of that and that's just making it a little bit diff more difficult it's making this a little it's making that the edge of the, that knife or these knives these swords here that much sharper and it's making it cut that much deeper but then <laughs> wow it was the hierophant we have the world the hierophant and the eight of cups leaving the Hierophant behind. And it's funny, when the Hierophant came out, I did see it come out because it flipped around and I, I recognized the colors of the card. So I, I immediately, I knew that was the Hierophant. I thought it came out reversed because of how it was flipping around, but it's upright, which is fine. But you're, um, what I'm hearing is you're walking away from traditionalism. There's an end to that. That cycle is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. And to be quite honest, What's making this cycle coming to a close that much more potent is the fact that someone is the fact of this, this here, having, having felt inadequate. Because ultimately, I feel like someone is recognizing where those tendencies, where those beliefs, where that would even stem from. And it comes from here, the Hierophant. Part of this indoctrination process that the Hierophant represents involves brainwashing, mind control, and, and leading people to believe that they are less than what they truly are in an effort to control, in an effort to stay in power. And so what I'm feeling here is very much heavily on the side of the masculine collective, although I do feel like both sides of the equation, both masculine and feminine, have felt this, have, have come to terms with this, or are coming to terms with this in some way. But there is, an, there is a realization of how this energy has propagated itself. Is that the right word? Throughout, ooh, 44, 44 on the counter, throughout someone's life. So it's really more of a realization 
It's, it's, it's more than a realization of how the masculine has treated the feminine. It's a, a, a full realization of how we treat each other societally, universally. How we have these, this hierarchy, hierarchical energy. I mean, look at, and this, is, and this is no shade to the crown, but look at the idea of royalty, the king and the queen, the royal family, having royal blood. What really makes your blood more royal than the person standing next to you? Who decides that? Because I'm pretty sure God's source creator didn't decide that, didn't put people on earth and say, okay, you are more royal than this person just because I said so. No. We're all equal in the eyes of God, source, creator, in the eyes of the universe. However you want to describe it, label it, identify with it, we are all equal. We, and by equal, I mean we are all entitled to the same things. The same abundance, the same unconditional love, the same ability to create exactly what it is we desire, the freedom to do so, the will to do so, the free will to do so, the safety and protection to create your own reality without having to worry about someone else destroying it. That is a pretty massive change in perspective here, guys. Massive change in perspective. Some was that <laughs> one that was not easy to come by. Oracle guidance time, and we're going to go with the crystal mandala today. I do want to take a sip of coffee before I do that. Again, I feel very compelled to reiterate this. This is still a process. These are still some things that are going to happen over time, okay? All right. Let's get our closing oracle guidance for today. For our Wednesday, November 27th, 2019-sies. Okay. Let's see what Oracle Guidance we have for the collective today. It's right there. And it's really interesting, you guys, because I was just shuffling these cards and I was like, hmm, it's having trouble coming out. And then as soon as I focused on, I centered on the masculine collective, it came right out. <laughs> what do we have? Oh, beautiful. Card number 21, Ascended Master Lady Nada and Rotocrosite. Sensitivity. That's a beautiful card. Look at all that pink, beautiful energy. I love that. And actually, guys, this is the color that I was seeing for the collective when I started channeling, when I started the reading. Remember when I started, when I told you the color is pink, it's unconditional love? There it is, right there. Hmm. I love how things work out this way sometimes. It's really cool. Okay. We bring you the blessing of sensitivity. Being sensitive in this world can be tough sometimes, yet your sensitivity is essential if you are to, be con if you are to consciously feel and work with subtle energy. Receiving and sending telepathic transmissions, feeling and releasing energetic cords, tingling with exquisite blessings of divine love, sensing the whispers of divine grace, and seeing the luminous sparkling particles of life force dancing wildly and the beauty of shimmering auric fields in dazzling and colorful display. To be given the gift of sensitivity to perceive the energetic world is like being invited to the most special and extraordinary exhibit of sacred art. You may have struggled with your sensitivity, found it difficult to bear during times of emotional suffering, 
yet you have a great gift and it will bring you so much joy. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, we will help you so, we will help you so you can, I'm sorry, let me say that again. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, we will help you so you too can feel uplifted as you witness the energetic beauty of creation. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. I'm not sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> Take care. Bye.